Hey everyone, welcome back to a new set of videos, series, I don't know what to call it really, but what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the Vive Focus 3 headset, and I'm going to show you how to set it up with Unreal Engine, using the Wave plugin, and then do a bunch of little things with it as you go through. So really, um, starting this one out to say that this is probably more targeted to businesses, those who have these headsets, and those wanting to work on them for educational content, business applications, that kind of thing. Um, I really want to state that these really aren't consumer headsets, so I apologize to everybody else that's already part of the community and subscribed. But hopefully you might actually enjoy looking at these things and seeing how it's done differently compared to other headsets. But um, before we get started, if you are a business and you do need help with the headsets or you want to get started, uh, feel free to get in touch. There's a contacts information email somewhere on the YouTube channel as well as the Discord, just feel free to reach out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by looking at how we can get the headset to be viewed clear and editor within Unreal Engine. And it will be 4.27 because it took them a year to go from 4.26 to make the Wave plugin available 4.27, and it's still not available for UE5. So with all that said, let's jump right in. And the first thing we're gonna do is download the business streaming app. So we can actually use our headset inside of Unreal. And we will also download Steam because we need to do that as well and a few other things. So let's jump right in and we'll switch over. So before we jump into Unreal, we first need to set up our headset so we can actually see what's in our Unreal project. Then we can preview that way. Otherwise, you've just got to build the APK, launch up the headset and then test it. So the first thing you need to do is download the Vive Business Streaming software. So I'll link this in the description. It's just five business, business five com. In my case, UK solutions streaming, and then you can download this, which goes to your machine. We're not going to do that. It's pretty pretty straightforward. That gives you this application here. However, the catch is you can't install this application without having Steam VR installed first. So what you want to do is you're going to go to Steam. Want to find install Steam. And then we're going to install this. So from what I'm aware, if you're on a VPN network or something on their minds, you might have difficulties with this. But overall, you just want to download Steam. And then inside of there, you want to download the Steam VR. So if I open that up, here's my library. And in here, you can believe download Steam VR. So in the top right here, it says start Steam VR. I'm not entirely sure if this appears when you first install Steam. But what it can be worth doing is actually going to the VR tab and seeing if that will come up here. Um, if not, you might want to go to software and then tools. So do a little drop down, select both of those. And I believe with tools, that will actually show up with it as well. So if we have a look for VR, you see all my VR stuff here. And then we can go through and do 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 do. We can find in tools, we have Steam VR at the bottom here. So you want to select that, install it. You don't particularly have to launch it. It just needs to be installed on your machine. And then what you can do is you can go ahead and install, uh, let's sort these windows out. You can install the Vive Business application here. Uh, from this, it'll actually allow you to open it up. So you can double click this. You'll get Vive Business Streaming app and it says standing by for wired or virtual streaming. And then it'll actually use Steam in the background when you connect your headset to it. So unfortunately, I don't really have a way to show you what's happening in the headset. But what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and open it up. And if we walk this, I'll walk you through it while I've got the headset on. It might be a little bit easier. So, Typically, as I record these videos, it's asking for an update, so I'm currently updating that. Um, one thing to make sure is, before you keep going, is that your Vive Focus is on the same internet or network as your Vive Business Streaming app. Um, what you can do is you can use USB cable, but I'll be honest, I haven't really had much luck with it, and I've only recently had much luck getting the streaming to work as well. Not too sure why, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, so if we see if this is updated, we can jump back in and then go from there. 
So, just from the future, I realized just after I got started that you will need to make sure your headset is all set up with the mobile phone as well. Um, I'm assuming that if you've got your headset on and you're looking at this video, you've already got that far. So, what you're going to do once the headset has updated for God knows how many times, what you want to do is you want to pop it on. You want to make sure that you are logged into the profile. So, you do that by going to the main menu on the bottom, going to profile, and then that should ask you to log in. Uh, what you want to do after that, you want to make sure you go to the store and then it's actually the very first one on the staff picks is Vive Business Streaming. And it's got the Vive logo and the streaming with a uh, blue cloudy background. You just want to download that and then what you can do is in your headset once you've downloaded it, go to your library and then you can launch it. You want to make sure you launch this after you've launched the desktop application. So you launch the Steam so you install Steam, let's take this off. So the process is you install Steam, you then install the Vive Business Streaming desktop application, then install it to the headset. And you can see here now that I've connect, installed the application on the headset, the desktop is actually picking up and it's all wireless. So that runs through, but it does require Steam. And I'm actually in the Steam home environment. I don't think you guys can see it, and it's actually working with the hand tracking as well, which is pretty cool, which is in here now. So what we can do is we can actually look at booting up Unreal and then jumping in that way. So I'm going to minimize our Vive Business Streaming. I'm going to open up our Epic Launcher. So I will go in and then if we switch back to normal view, you can see those here. So I've got Steam VR and then Vive Business Streaming. And I'm just opening up the Epic Launcher on the side let's bring that over and what we're going to do is we're just going to create a brand new vr template and then we're going to jump into that so i'm going to go ahead and launch 4.27 i almost went five so launch 4.27 because this is the latest version that their wave plugin uses and then we'll set this up and then we'll look at downloading the wave plugin we might as well do it all in one video create a virtual reality template Next, uh, no star content. So I'm going to head and made a new folder, almost a video, select folder. By focus, select folder. Cool. So now we can do five, five tutorial, and then with that, no starter content. And we're just going to create the project here. Jonathan from the future. So quickly, what we're going to do is we're going to download for the next part, we're going to look at downloading the Wave VR plugin, and then we're going to install that to Unreal Engine 4.27, which we can then use. So the first time I said this, it lagged out. So, all right, back to it. Project as it actually comes into the plugins folder and has everything already set up for you. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to install it to a VR template, and then we're going to do a couple of videos where I show you how to migrate some stuff from their content and put it into this template. Cause I know a lot of people already work with this for products or projects for the Oculus Quest, desktop VR. This is kind of a basic point that everyone works from. So we might as well set this up and work with this the same way. So I'll minimize that. And then if we press the drop down, we can now see VR previews not enabled. Why is that? Uh, let's go to plugins. And I'm going to check my virtual reality section. Uh, we can see here we don't have Steam VR enabled. So what we're going to do is we're going to disable the Oculus OpenXR plugin. We'll keep OpenXR, and we will enable the Steam VR. Then we're going to restart. Excellent. So now it's restarted. We should be able to hit the drop down and then play in VR preview. And if I put it on, we actually jump right in. We've got our controllers, which is good. Although my connection's pretty crap, so I can't actually do it, it keeps loading. But I don't have any inputs and nothing actually works. So that's what we'll look at next or in the next video. But what we'll do now is we'll install that Wave plugin just so everything's up and running and you know where everything is. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our web browser and we're gonna search for, it'll be Five Wave Unreal plugin. And then we've got to dig through the documentation to see if we can find it. Um, 
download the Unreal SDK. I'm not too sure. Is that the right one? Let's find out. There's so many different places and documentation for Vive. It's absolutely all over the place. So yeah, there's documentation here and it's a different type. So developer.vive.com and then this is business.vive and it's just different places. So this is what you want. I'll link this down in the description again. And then what we're after is the 4.27. So this is the one that we need. So we're just going to download this. I have read and agreed. We're going to download. And we'll just save it. I've already got it, got it downloaded somewhere. So let's see where that is going. I can't see it. <laughs> but it'll be, it'll be in my downloads folder. So let's go to downloads. Uh, let's... I'm going to delete everything else in there. So we've just got the one. So then we can actually see that we have our wave 4.5, R.3, Unreal 4.27. We can extract this to our actual documents folder, downloads folder. And th this actually contains an entire Unreal Engine project, which I'll be honest, I haven't actually used. I just take the plugins folder and then put it over to the new template. But once this is done, we can actually go ahead and we can open this one up. And you see we've got a plugin folder. You might be thinking that you can just right click, copy and paste this, but you want to open that up. Otherwise you'll get the actual plugin project. And you just want to take this plugins folder and then copy that one instead. So we move this down. Uh, just to make this a little bit easier, we'll just right click on one of these. Show in Explorer so we can get access to our actual project files. And then we're just going to paste it in here. So we paste that in, plugins, minimize, and now we go to our plugins folder inside of Unreal. We should actually have access to the Wave plugin. So I will search Wave. We might need to restart, because I can't remember if it will upload. So let's just restart. So we can see now that I've actually restarted it. I didn't, I didn't need to go to my plugins to enable it, but we can see here that we've got the Wave VR plugin now. Uh, what it does is it allows you to go to project settings and then at the bottom here, you've got a Wave VR plug, uh, part, which is just hidden behind my logo. So Wave VR, and then you've got a bunch of options here that you can have a look through and play around with. I'll have a look at these in the next video, or not next one, just in the video. And then we're going to go back to the VR template now. So keep this in mind, you've got all these here if you need them. Um, VR template, so we're back in the main project. Uh, we won't be able to get buttons and that set up in this one because we're already going for time. But what you want to do is you want to go to view options and make sure show plugin content is enabled. Uh, what that does is allows you to use this little side arrow. So then go all the way through it. And then we should be able to find a VR, a wave VR uh, contents folder and then blueprints. And you can see here there's a whole bunch of stuff already created for you that you can work with. So that could be the VR porn as well. So it's done quite differently, as you can see. And I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty confusing, which is why I prefer to set it up with the default template, just cause it's, you can add what you need and you can manage it from there. So we'll take a look at all this in the next video and we'll get it working so we can actually teleport, interact, pick up stuff as well. So that's just something to keep in mind. But for now, that's pretty much it. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, if you are a business and you either you want apps building for it, feel free to reach out. We can totally help you with that. Or if you just want some help learning how to use the headsets so you can develop develop your own apps in-house, that kind of thing, we can go from there. But um, yeah, if you're a consumer, don't worry about too much. <laughs> and then I'll see you next time. All right, bye.